We're here with head coach Jim Penders. Huskies sweep the doubleheader against first place USF. So now, for now, the Huskies have moved into first place. And coach, man, you got some great starting pitching today from Timmy and from Mason. They they were great. Um, you know, I just I, you just remember what happens most recently. I said that's one of the best starts I've seen here in a long time, and it wasn't that long time because Tim Cade had an equally good start. Uh, you know, just before that one, but Mason was special. It looked like he was just toying with them at times with the change up. He had them all working and uh, a lot of confidence. You know, until uh, we got a couple blocks out of him, they they managed to do that. But that's you know he's he's. He's going to eliminate that. The more he's out there, he's going to figure it out. But he was awesome. I mean, there's no other word for it. I, I thought he, I thought he could have gone back out, you know. Uh, but we had Russ ready to go and and um, wanted to make sure that we locked that down. And, and he's been in that position a lot more than Mason has, so it made sense. We also extended Mason a little bit longer than than normal last outing, and he's on one shorter day. So we figured we'd we'd get him out with a pitch count under 100, and and uh, he should have a full tank for next time. Let's go back to game one. Sanders was thrown really well against you guys. You're able to tie it up against him there in the seventh inning. That kid's really competitive. I was very impressed with him. Uh, you know, we got to him last year. He didn't look like the same pitcher this year. I mean, everything was working. He could, he could throw his breaker at any count. Uh, a lot of confidence. Um, yeah, he was he was he was probably one of the or certainly one of the most impressive pitchers we've seen this year, if not the most impressive. I thought he did a great job. Um, so we were fortunate to get a couple and and uh, stay with it. We we had some tough at bats in that game. Um, you know, we had some really tough at bats in this game. Took our walks that really helped us. Uh, they gave us a few freebies in this one that, that really helped us out. But uh, credit our, our guys. They stuck with it. Played really well. Uh, very proud of the of the effort and the way we came out to, out of the gates. And hopefully we can finish the job tomorrow. Susie walks it off in the 10th. How important in game two you walk off to get two runs immediately in that first inning? Yeah, really important. You know, you don't want to step off the gas and they gave us some help. You know, their young left-hander was uh, looked like a little bit out of sync with the mound or whatever and, and threw a couple to the backstop and we took advantage of that. Um, but uh, it was big to get back up on top as quickly as possible because that kid's got great stuff. I mean, he's, gonna, he's got a hell of an arm and I guess they're saying he's up to 98 today. It wouldn't have surprised me, but I thought our guys did a good job of staying short and getting the barrel to some of his stuff too. So um, overall, you know, I was really happy with our offensive approach. I thought we did a really good job base running. Uh, Troy Stefanski had a really good game. Might not have showed up completely in the box score, but he was executing. He was, go you know, he was running really hard. He was, I was able to send him for that last run of the game because he's running hard all the way from first base on the bloop single there. So uh, I was really happy with his defense in the first game too in center field, and he did a really good job. Uh, didn't dr I don't think he drove in a run today, but um, that he doesn't have to if he plays like that. A big series win, but what would you like to see tomorrow to try and get the sweep? Well, you know, it all starts with the guy in the bump. I say that every time. But Wills Montgomery, you know, we feel very comfortable throw, throw, giving the ball to Wills uh, at any point in the weekend. He could be a Friday guy, Saturday guy, Sunday guy. It doesn't matter. He's going to give you, you know, his best. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can we can keep these guys on the ropes one more day. You know, but they're a lot better offensive team than they showed today. But I think our pitching had a lot to do with that. I don't want to take anything away from all of our pitchers. Did a very nice job. John Russell was was Russ again, and and uh, everybody in the first game did a good job so very pleased overall it was a good team good team day at the jet at the jock have you ever seen what Feldstein did with his bat in the first sitting of the RBI double I've seen I don't know if I've seen an RBI double on one of them but um We've seen bats break. I mean, these aluminum, these new aluminum bats, for whatever reason, we've we had one in the fall. I think this past fall that broke. And sometimes they break in the cage, and that's really scary. Um, but uh, yeah, and unfortunately, I've seen more of it than I wish to. But uh, I'll take that one. If that's what's going to happen when we break them, that's fine. I mean, he got sawed off. That's that's what a 95 mile an hour fastball, and he just wasn't quite ready. But uh, he's strong enough. Isaac is strong enough to 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 still hit it hard. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Chris.